Hey everyone, it's me again, and uh, in this video I would like to talk to you about uh, self-injury and uh, my experience with self-injury. So, uh, first of all, self-injury, sorry, it's not very easy for me to talk about this. Uh, self-injury is a um, way in which you uh, hurt yourself. yourself in different manners in order to uh, feel better uh, inside at least uh, I used to do it for, for this purpose and uh, it can be done in different ways uh, I will talk uh, about my 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 experience about uh, what, what I used to do and and uh, how it was Basically, I, I was uh, I used to self injure myself uh, self injure in two main ways. Uh, first one by cutting, second one by uh, self medicating heavily. Uh, by cutting, uh, I used to get up in the morning with uh, terrible feelings inside, with uh, depression, pain. Uh, things that I couldn't control, um, emptiness, I couldn't, uh, I didn't really want to go really get, get up from my bed and, and you know start my day but I, I, I had to do it so in order to cope if we can do, if we can say like this, cope with my pain I went to my bathroom and uh, cut my wrist you know the upper part not the part in which there are the, the veins but this part the, the upper part you, you you can see the, the scars right now maybe, maybe you you can see a little bit here you see these lines they, they are the scars uh, I used to cut uh, always at that point for about uh, two months one one month one one month two months every morning uh, I used to go to my to, to my bathroom take the scissor take a put a little alcohol on it you know I I, I was clean at least <laughs> put a little alcohol on it the, and uh, cut my wrist uh, and then take a shower and cry and cry endlessly. And then, you know, put a mask on my face and begin my day, start my day. Then uh, it was um, a way of coping with my inside pain and my thoughts, suicidal thoughts that I also used to have. The second way was self-medicating. By self-medicating quite heavily, I used to take uh, four Benadryls you know 50 milligrams Benadryl per day which is quite a lot in order to keep me sedated to numb my my body down to my, uh, sorry to, my, to, dumb, uh, to numb my body because I didn't want to feel anything I, I was feeling this pain and I got to the point that I really didn't want to feel anything and I was thinking about suicide the whole time and I didn't want to think about suicide so I didn't know how to do and uh, what I was doing was uh, taking Benadryl and other medicines for numbing my pain uh, so uh, self-harm or self-injury it's an act of uh, cowardness uh, I know it it's really a thing, uh, it's an act of cowardness, but sometimes you feel so much in pain that uh, you, you don't have any, any other solutions. You, you really don't know how to, uh, to cope with this pain. I, used, I, I went to two uh, different uh, psychologists and all they, they told me was uh, you have to go to a psychologist and take, um, take medicines because there is no solution for you uh, but only taking, taking medicines. So, uh, I mean, all, all the things that they, they were doing were 
useless because I felt like a, you know, a mental, uh, mental ill. I felt like crazy, and, and it was really a bad sensation. So I, I thought there was no solution for me until I, uh, for my luck, I found this uh, incredible, uh, incredible therapist that uh, I am, I mean, on which I'm, I'm going right now. Uh, which is really helping me a lot and um, uh, you know many people have the, the thought the, the really wrong thought that people who self-injure are um, people who just seek attention actually that's not true uh, self-injury is a way to uh, a, a very I, 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 I say it, it's a very wrong way, but it's a way to cope with pain, with extreme pain that you feel inside. It's not a way to, you know, call attention or, uh, or uh, in some way it is, because it's like a, a, a scream for help, but uh, it's not the first, it's not the, re the, the real, uh, it's not the real reason for for self-injuring, at least for me, I did it because I didn't, I didn't really know how to, to cope with my pain, and sometimes my mind felt like, uh, I, I mean, I felt like I, I wasn't in my mind, and my mind just uh, went, uh, I mean, told my body to go to the toilet and, and cut myself. You know, it was a really terrible, terrible period. Uh, there is a big stigma about people who self-injure and uh, I really one one of the reasons uh, I'm doing this video is to try to tell people that uh, persons who self-injure are not stupid, are not um, crazy, are not, uh, you know, uh, just uh, people who try to seek attention but uh, are people who are suffering normal people uh, people like everybody but uh, who have a problem that uh, they can solve and so they try to uh, cope with it in, in a wrong way I, I know it's a wrong way but uh, maybe for them it's the best way now it's about four months that I don't cut myself anymore, but uh, the sensation that I want to cut myself is constant and it's really difficult for me to uh, not cut myself, but I, I am coping with it quite, uh, quite well, so, well, uh, that's it. Another, another thing uh, that could play a role in self-injury is the role of endorphins. You know, endorphins are natural substances that resemble the action of morphine on, on the body and uh, they are um, uh, secreted by, by the brain in response to painful stimuli. So maybe cutting or, or uh, self-injury is a way to uh, produce more endorphins and endorphins uh, make you feel good so maybe unconsciously people who self-injure uh, are doing it because uh, after you know cutting or, or, or self-injuring they feel better because endorphins are produced and, and uh, endorphins like all, all opiates uh, or, or opiates resembling sub substances induce a sensation of well-being in your body so basically that's it for for now and uh, please don't discriminate people who, who self-injure because uh, it's not their fault and they are not stupid people and they really did, don't uh, need to be discriminated but uh, only they, they need some help so thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day bye